folks, it's week six, Tuesday, September 29th, and this is your gender forecast. Task one, I want you to learn about the practice of info doodling. Uh, the first thing that I want you to do is watch this uh, short TED talk by uh, Sunny Brown about what info doodling is. And then I want you to skim this PDF, um, truly skim it. Um, the, the key thing that I want you to uh, look at here is the visual alphabet and to practice doing that, just so that you understand what info doodling is and why we would do it in the first place. Then in task two, I want you to watch Susanna Temko's uh, TED Talk, A Different Kind of Superpower, What It Means to Be Intersex. And as you are watching Temco's TED Talk, I want you to create an info doodle of the TED Talk. Okay, and then obviously, please share that to your info doodle to Tumblr um, using uh, the appropriate hashtags right here, uh, along with like a, you know, three to four sentence reflection on how Temco's talk connects to Malatino's essay. In task three, I want you to head over to Trans History Channel 2 on Slack and compose a five to six sentence response to this following prompt. Yes, it is a lot of text, but I'm basically breaking down what Melatino's key um, contributions are to having us really rethink how we understand sex. Okay. For homework, I would like you to read Stryker's 100 plus year history of 100 plus years of trans history. Sorry, tired. Um, all right. And then the other thing that I want you to do is I want you to pick one of the uh, people that are listed here below. And I want you to just do a light research, like literally just Google research to see if you can find something about them, their lives and their contributions. These are um, trans people of color who Stryker doesn't actually do a super great job of mentioning in 100 plus years of trans history. Um, and that's one of my biggest critiques of her work is it tends to be really centered on whiteness. That's a problem. Um, so I'd love for you to learn some more about one of these uh, historical trans figures. And then um, once you find a piece, obviously read it and then compose like a three sentence reflection on what you found out about that person and then share that to Tumblr with the following um, hashtags. Okay. Uh, democracy related sidebar. I know that we have actually talked about this a lot um, in the sense that um, you know, uh, I think all of you have mentioned that you were registered to vote and that's super. I, I did this a while ago. Um, what I would recommend is that if you aren't sure if you're registered to vote or if you haven't double checked to make sure you're registered to vote, I would definitely do that. If you have moved, make sure that you update your voter registration link. It's uh, are very, very important. Um, yeah, um, and you know, just keep in mind that uh, Gen Z uh, combined with millennials, if, if y'all show up to vote, um, your will is going to be um, made manifest at the polls. Um, generationally, uh, your, your generations tend to be uh, more accepting. Uh, and my only sell is that you could literally save the country from a fascist takeover. And that would be super cool. That's my pitch. That's all I got because I'm tired. Okay.